Hello, I'm Liam, and we are playing Four Against Darkness. We are in Torment's Rest, looking for an anger mace in the possession of a gaunt troll. We encountered a lady in white here in room four. We brought her the head of a mummy, and she enchanted Elric's shield. It's now a shield of warning. Normal shields are useless when you're surprised or fleeing, uh, but this one is not useless, so that's awesome. Uh, we then moved north, and Throck bashed this door down, and now we face the gaunt troll in whose possession is the anger mace our patron seeks. So, here we go. Gaunt Troll. HCL plus 4 boss. So, that's highest character level. Our highest is 4. So, this guy is level 8. Level 8 boss. <clears throat> we will get an XP roll if we defeat him. Uh, HCL plus 4 life. So, he has 8 life. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, he's a final boss. Uh, yeah, so he won't um, he won't flee. So there's no morale roll, but he'll drop a level if we do uh, five wounds to him. Four attacks per turn. Um, four claw strikes, each inflicting one damage. Every time any of your heroes rolls a one on any die roll, the Gaunt Troll performs one additional claw strike at the character. This attack happens out of sequence, interrupting the hero's turn, and its effects are applied immediately. So basically, if we try to attack and we roll a critical fail, a one, he gets a counterattack that I think we get to defend against if it hits... And then you die, you roll the gun, performs one additional claw strike at the character, yeah. Gaunt Trolls have a 4 in 6 chance of regenerating one lost life point at the beginning of their turn. Okay. The rest of this is about dwarves and gnomes and halflings, which... We're just scanning this real quick. Yeah, it's all... It's all about them. We don't have any dwarves, gnolls, or halflings, so... That is that. I'll leave these rules up while we fight this guy. We get to attack first. Them's the rules. So, let's see. Throck will attack with his masterwork two-handed hammer. That's a two plus four is six. He does not hit. Elric uh, with his one-handed hammer. That's a critical fail. We are not off to a good start. Blesk. Um, Bless is going to use... She's got a Protect Scroll, a Sleep Scroll, Wand of Sleep, Escapes, Scroll of Lightning Bolt, several Lightning Bolts. Let's use a Lightning Bolt. Um, so, I can never remember the specifics of these spells. Where's our core rules? I'm going to pull up the spells, which are here. Spells. Lightning Bolt. This spell works like an attack roll. The wizard adds his level to the roll against a group of minions. Yeah. Against a boss, it inflicts two life points if it hits. So, uh, we also have this deal with the mana abundance. So, we might take damage if this explodes, but we shall see. So, uh, we're going to do an attack roll. Two. Plus our level is four. That's a six. And that does not hit. But we have a 3 and 6 chance to retain the spell. So 1 to 3. Nope. She loses the spell. Uh, so we'll mark that down. One lightning bolt cast. Okay, Jim. We need somebody. <laughs> we need somebody to accomplish something here. Jim rolls with advantage. He's got that enchanted sword. That's a six. That explodes. Uh, eight plus four is twelve. So he hits. He does one point of damage to the troll, um, which is not nearly enough because this guy wears our twisted final, this twisted minions. Oh, did I close that? I didn't mean to close that. Here we go. 
<laughs> okay. Um, four and six chance of regenerating one lost life point. That's not... Okay, one and four. Nick does. He gets his life point back. Let's do this. We're going to make some boxes here for this troll. One, two, three. He's got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he's uh, he's he's totally regenerated at this point because he regained his life and he gets to attack everybody. So Throck two plus defense is three. Throck takes a point of damage. All right, this is a tough boss. Elric four plus a defense of two is six. Not enough. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Um, who else? Blesk. Four plus a defense of one is five. Not enough. Blesk gets hit. And Jim. One, that's a net. That's a fail. Jim takes a point of damage. Okay, round two. We need to hit, you guys. Let's see. Throck. Three plus four is seven. Not enough. I'm just thinking. Okay. Elric. We're okay so far. Elric has some healing spells. Everybody has a potion of healing. They all have bandages, which I don't think you can use bandages during a battle, but they're there. So, Elric, two. Plus two is four. Not enough. Uh, Blesk. Here we go, Blesk. Let's do a lightning bolt again. Six. Okay, there we go. But she takes a point of damage. That explodes... 8 plus her level is 12. That hits. We do 2 points of damage to the troll. But um, we also. Blesk takes a point of damage because of this abundant mana situation in this dungeon. Uh, does she retain the spell? Uh, 1 and 3. She does. Okay, excellent. Alright, Blesk. Good job, Blesk. Um, Jim, here we go, Jim. Rolls a four plus four is eight, so he hits as well. Okay, now, now we have some hope. Okay, it's the troll's turn. Uh, okay, uh, four and six chances. So one to four. Yep, he regains a point of life. Where's my eraser? Okay, and now he attacks everybody. Throck, four, plus one defense, not enough. Throck. Okay. Elric, one, that's a fail. Elric takes a point of damage. Blesk, five, plus one, six, it's still not enough. Can any of these folks... Let's, I'll do Jim and then I'll ask my question here. Five, defense two, seven. Not enough. Yeah, we have to roll. Defense plus one, plus two, plus one, plus two. Jim and Elric could defend if they roll a six. Basically, everybody has to roll a six and explode in order to not get hit by this guy. Unless we can get him down some more. Uh, get him down more. Okay, Throck, here we go. Five. It's a masterwork hammer, so that explodes. Five plus three is eight, plus his attack is four is twelve. So Throck manages to damage the troll. Elric, six, that explodes. Okay, eight plus two is ten. Elric hits. Okay, we're getting our we're getting our feet underneath us now. Blesk, let's do a lightning bolt again. Four plus four is eight. That hits and it does two points of damage. Okay, it is now level seven. I'm gonna write that in pencil because it can regenerate. And uh, Jim rolls a three plus uh, four is seven, so he hits. The gaunt troll is staggering. Let's see. Four and six chance to regenerate. It does. It's not enough to bring it back up a level. So 
That's good. Because now we have a better chance of defending against this guy. Throck rolls a two, plus his defense is not enough. Throck takes a point of damage. Elric rolls a one, that's a fail. That's a point of damage. Blesk. Six, she explodes, but she doesn't need to either because her six plus one is seven. That's enough to defend, so she does not take a point of damage, finally. And Jim, two plus two, not enough. Jim gets hit, so everybody gets hit again except Blesk. Dust ducks out of the way. All right, Throck fails to hit. Elric fails to hit. Let's use a different die. Blesk, here we go. Cast Lightning Bolt, 3 plus 4 is 7, that hits, that does 2 points of damage, and that takes out the Gaunt Troll. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank goodness. Does Bless retain the spell? Um, th uh, what was it, 3 and 6 chance to retain? Nope, she spends that spell. That's okay, because we survived. Outstanding. Okay, we defeat we defeated the Gaunt Troll. We'll write that down here. Gaunt Troll. And we get an anger mace. If we can if we escort that safely out of the dungeon, we'll complete our patron quest. Um, but let's see what else is going on here. We get an XP roll. We're going to try... We failed twice now to level up Throck. Uh, and I think... I'm vaguely remembering you can't try to level up somebody twice in a row. So let's try to level up Jim. He levels up. Excellent. Good job, Jim. Uh, that makes Jim... is now level 4. It's not erasing as well as I would like. There we go. Four. His health, his life, goes to ten. We'll give him another box here on our chart. And his attack is his level. I have plus four already. Oh, because he has a two-handed sword. Two-handed sword gives plus one, plus his level. So that's plus five. Um, that's great. Plus five uh, with advantage. He's going to be hitting all kinds of stuff. Plus five. I think that's everything. GM level four. We just got to level up... Um, Level up Throck. He's having a tough time. Learning new skills. Let's see. Okay, that's our Gaunt Troll. Let's see what treasure. Three rolls. Excellent. With a combined minimum gold, gold piece value of 50 plus D6 food rations. Okay. Uh, five. Five food rations. Not using currently any supplements that give us any rules about food rations but um if we survive this dungeon uh the next adventure we'll do um we we'll use the four against abyss rules which um take us to tier two adventuring and maybe maybe food comes into play there um but we shall see <clears throat> five food rations we got three Three rolls of treasure and one weird treasure. Those are... Those are at the end here, I think. Weird treasure, weird treasure. We'll roll fiendish treasures and then we'll roll... Um, well, it says three treasures. I think we'll use the normal three treasures. And we'll do a uh, weird treasure here. Okay, two of these guys. Thirty-one. D6 humming beans. <laughs> By throwing one of these magic beans, you may count a corridor as a room. Using the bean as a free action and takes no time. Okay. <laughs> one. 
<laughs> One humming bean. Uh, okay. One humming bean. And then we'll go to the core rules here. <clears throat> go to treasure. There it is. We'll make three rolls here. One, two. Well, let's do one at a time. Six. One random magic item from the magic treasure table. Three. Fool's gold. I think we're already carrying one fool's gold still. That gives us another one. It's our first treasure. Five. One item of jewelry worth 3d6 times 10. Six, seven, eight, nine. So a jewelry worth 90 gold pieces. And we get one more treasure here. Oh, I killed everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, how did we have? There's the. Sorry, Jim. Jim took the hit of the die. That's a three. Uh, a scroll. <laughs> a random scroll spell. What do we get? Six. Another protect scroll. Um, Blessed has one of those already. So we'll add that. There. She's got two now. Okay. Whew. All right. Gaunt troll defeated we're doing we're doing okay we still got quite a bit of health left um we could spend one of elric's heal spells or several of them to heal some folks but uh ba -da -ba -da. we could also rest we could go back here and rest and gain a point we can definitely bandage let's do that we'll have everybody bandage up so Everybody's going to use their bandage. There is a mark over here, but I kept forgetting about it, so I just added a bandage. That's our once per adventure. We can apply a bandage, and uh, that heals us up by one. So everybody... Yeah, so we're in good shape. We're a little bruised and battered, but we're doing fine. Let's keep going. We will check this door, see if it's locked. It is locked. Its sturdiness is five. So we'll have Throck. He rolls a three plus his level. He bashes that door in. And what room, what do we have on the other side? 44. 44 is a room that looks like this. So we've got a corridor that's 20 feet long. And uh, then we go, I'm going to turn it like this, basically. 44. We'll go up one and over two. Let me hide this so you can see. 44. Up one, over two, down two, over one, down two, and this comes down two and over three. And we've got a door down there. This is going to be room seven. And, um, okay, let's see what awaits us in room seven. Nine. We have is empty. We can search it. Yes. Let's search it. Our search table. Here we roll a d6. Got a six. Choose. You find a clue. A secret door or a hidden treasure. I'm going to take a clue. Um, secret door or hidden treasure. Yeah, let's take a clue. Who finds the clue? Four. That'd be Jim. Jim finds a clue. That's his first clue. We have a couple other. Throck found a clue in the in the uh, prison, and that's it. So if we find enough clues, we can combine them and learn a secret. Um, there we go. Clue. We don't know the nature of the clue. 
doesn't tell us much about it, but some piece of information, something scrawled on the wall, something laying on the floor, something pertains to something, and if we find enough of these things, we can assemble all the disparate pieces of knowledge and learn something special. Empty. Clue for Jim. Okay. Seven. Did we do our gaunt? Yep. Yeah. Did we do our XP roll for the gaunt troll? I do not recall. I will have to watch the uh, replay and see if we did that or not. If we didn't, we'll do it next time. Um, okay. That's room seven. Let's see if this door is locked. Five. It is not. So we'll head south. To the south is one, three. We got a crazy kind of switchback passage going on here. We'll uh, we'll call this the start of it here. We'll call this that door. Comes down like this. Comes over one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then down four. One, two, three, four. And then over three, that's going to bump us up against that room. So let's go like this. Over two, down one. This comes like this. And then it doubles back. Like that. This is room, or corridor, uh, number eight. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Pull up this table again. Eleven. A boss. We've got a boss in the hallway. The hall boss. Um, roll d6 on boss table. And if we win... Yep, we need to do an XP roll. We leveled up Jim, right? Pretty sure we did that XP roll. Okay. Boss table. Um, Fiendish foes. Treasure. Weird monster. Boss table. Here we go. In the hallway, we encounter... Oh, dear. Oh, boy. A young... <laughs> a young red dragon. Ah, level nine. Where's my highlighter? There we go. Level 9, 8 life, 2 attacks, 4 treasure rolls. As its first attack, this reptilian will breathe fire. All characters must save versus level 7 dragon breath. Thereafter, it has 2 attacks. Young red dragons are never met as wandering... Young red dragons are never met as wandering monsters. So we're not wandering, we're just in a corridor. Let's, uh... 300 gold pieces... Uh, there's a chance this could be sleeping or give us a quest. Two and three bribe, but we don't have the cash for it. And I think that would mean it would attack first. So there's basically a four and six chance this would attack first if we wait to see if it reacts. We are in a hallway, meaning Elric and uh, Throck can attack normally. Jim will have to attack with his bow. And, uh, but Bless can attack with lightning bolts and whatnot. So I think we're just going to go for it. All right. Young Red Dragon. This uh, Torment Rest is, uh, is quite a bit more... Um, I'm just checking. Yeah, there's a minion seven. I'm going to write that over here so we remember. Young Red Dragon. Torment's Rest is turning out to be a bit more challenging than our previous adventures, which, which I like. Your computer's running low on storage space. How is that possible? Okay, we are going to stop here before it cuts me off. I'll figure out the storage space issue, and uh, we'll play again soon. Until then, friends. Keep your lanterns lit and your hearts warm. Thanks for watching.